Oh, oh, what's gonna happen next, girls? Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Why don't today we go to a wedding, Biscuit? Yeah, should we go to a wedding? Don't bother. It's time for another episode of Don't Tell the Bride. Do you know, it's taking as much as my body can muster to not scream, don't tell the wig. Oh, stop being so silly. Make sure you're wearing your wedding wig. No. Oh, my little baby. Are you doing well? Are you better? Yes. So, my lovelies, this was an unexpected hit on the Chanel. It seems that everyone loves to watch weddings go completely wrong. And to be honest, me too. <laughs> if you haven't seen the first episode in this series, my lovelies, this show is called Don't Tell the Bride. It's where a bride will like sign over. How do I describe this biscuit? She like signs over everything she wants to have happen at her wedding to her like husband to be. And quite often he's like completely incapable and incompetent. I know it! And it ends up being just a right shit show from the beginning to the end, shall we say. Although I must actually say in the last episode of this show, my lovelies, he seemed to pull something together at the end that the bride eventually was like, yes, I love it, yes. Also, isn't it strange that I seem to have a link to every one of these shows that we cover? So, Mr. Biscuits, are you excited for today's show? You gonna sit nicely on my lap or do you want to sit on your little pillow and nibble your chew? I want to get married. Well, you can't. You are far too young right now. Yes, yes you are. Oh no, yes, yes you are. Oh no. Deranged. Absolutely covered in fluff now. Right, my lovelies, are you ready for a top comment from the last episode of Don't Tell the Bride? Don't tell her, stop it. We have a serious mental illness. And that is by Mrs. Alexander Hamilton. And they say, in this neglectful, incompetent man's defense, ooh, Nothing about the bride's style, Barack, a huge diamond ring, said she wanted anything subtle about her wedding dress. And that's true. Actually, in the last episode, we did see the bride-to-be say, I want a really subtle, understated wedding, but it also has to be like Baroque and completely over the top. Silly. Now, I don't know about you, but if you've ever worked in makeup retail, my lovelies, quite often, sometimes we'll come in and say, what I want is a really bright, shiny, matte, subtle, red, brown lipstick that's actually in a pencil. And it's like, none of these things exist, sis. You either, you have to pick your lane. Pick one, please, thank you. It's nice to know that it also extends to the wedding industry. Personally, I have no intention in my life of ever getting married. That doesn't mean to say I won't happily indulge in other people's marriages. That sounds a bit out of context. You are the worst. I must say though, sometimes the culture around weddings does feel exceptionally toxic, as in like sometimes it seems to be that you put your wedding above everything else that's ever gonna happen in your life ever. And it's like, it is just one day. Let's try and think the long term, shall we? Yes, sir. Grab yourself a beverage. I had a brand recently tell me they have no interest in doing any of all that with my Chanel, so I shall no longer be supporting them. Ha! Grab your little ohanger, pop it into your little, should we say, bridal hole? I was gonna say don't tell hole, but that's just, we're not doing any of all that, no. And let's watch Don't Tell the Bride! Don't tell her! I forgot where my camera was then, I was like, hello. Oh, there she is, the drone. <laughs> Don't tell the wig. John Paul, oh, also no. John Paul, isn't that the guy from Hollyoaks? Die. Right, what's John going to do in his electric green V-neck jumper and matching Casio watch ensemble? Also known as Jip, met Jip. Vegeta in a bar in Vegeta. Kingston three Kingston. years ago. Kingston, oh no, that's where I went to university. Ah. Why do I not have a... <laughs> oh, don't do that again, Luxaria. Why do I have a link to like every show we do? You charmed me, didn't you? I did. I worked my <laughs> magic. Charming. <laughs> They've been engaged for a year, but they a still year. live apart with their respective parents. It's the exciting. volume of this show is very upsetting. They live apart with their respective parents. Okay. I mean, that was quite normal, wasn't it? You save money living with your parents for a little bit extra. I don't know how old they are, though. Like, Sarah, stop interrupting and watch the show. The fact that we've never lived together and... And, and then we're now we're going to get married. <laughs> yeah, married and not living together seems <laughs> odd. Some would say traditional. But breaking with tradition, Majita's letting Jip plan the biggest day of her life. Majita and here's Jip. to uh, secrets. <laughs> secrets and lies. lies. Lots of secrets and lies and potato pies. I think it's definitely going to be a sort of point of maturity for me, and and also it's something you know that I really want to do, you know, to share my commitment to Majita. Marriage. Majita and Jip have agreed not. Ah! Oh, that's the road that my tattooist is on. How funny. To see or speak to each other until the day. Right, that's oh. it, yeah, blocked. Blocked on Facebook. 
the next time they meet Aww. will be at the altar. Oh God, I thought she was going to be, will be at the end. He seems really involved and really want to impress her and he seems like he really loves her. So please let's hope that today is not about like just full on male incompetence from start to finish. That would be great. Wouldn't that be nice? What a lovely change for the Chanel. Yeah. I saw a great Instagram reel the other day that was like, I love men individually, but as a group, they are problem. Here we go. Majita's moving out of her parents' house in Kingston <gasps> and in with Maid of Honor Jess. In Maid of Unwage. I think she's going to be feeling quite emotional. Ooh. And Jess has um, been to the hairdressers. And a bit left out of all the organising and stuff. So. By I forgot what I was going to say. She's. Old. Moving in with me, like we can help support her and make her feel kind of cozy and happy. Oh well, <laughs> yes, a good strong support network. <laughs> right, bye. Jip's going to be relying on his best. Imagine mate. moving out of your house and that's all you have is like three three handbags full of clothes. <gasps> I wish, girls. Jip's going to be relying on his best men, Adam and Liam, for support. Adam and Liam, right? Yes. It's got the, the fear of Majit hanging over us at all yeah. times. She's, uh, but she's here. And there's enough yeah. to keep us on our toes. Welcome. You yeah. ready to plan a wedding? Oh, yeah. look at the dog! We're not complete idiots. Dog. Although we may look at times yes. like that, we can, you know, we'll pull a plan Stop together. Helping. There's something about, like, British people from this era of TV that everyone looks a bit like the in-betweeners. Do you know what I mean? Like, everyone just looks a bit like... I don't really know. It was the time before, like, social media really took off and everyone was just obsessed with looking almost the same. All the, like, men that get on TV now are literally, like, tan, turkey teeth, transplants, tattoos. <laughs> like, it's not bad, but it's just funny how everyone seems to, like, fall into a very similar look now <laughs> who knows how to put up uh, whiteboards i don't think this that's actually came with screws that's not a whiteboard it's a chalkboard oh my god CRT. this is quite heavy for blue tack this is gluing. gonna be quite precarious <laughs> oh that is a whiteboard i lied whiteboard. i have to issue a, an apology statement i didn't think that i was gonna have to make this video but uh, i'm sorry everybody sucking dick and cock so we've got twelve thousand pounds twelve thousand pounds yeah Goodness me out, 12,000 pounds. What was that back in the day? That would have been like 20,000 US dollars, maybe just under, maybe more like 18,000. I think nowadays it's probably worth like 3p. I actually made this joke before the government actually announced that the UK is in a recession. Love that for us. Yes, Queen. We are British. Guess at the moment what kind of Venue. project to allocate. <laughs> oh, is that an, oh, is that a I sign? Think Dips, yeah, capable of of organising the wedding. Okay. I do have a lot of faith in him. Oh, good. So we have four weeks and it's wedding season. It's gonna to be tough, I think, to find oh. anywhere. <laughs> Just like my mental health, Downstairs, ready to sail and drop at any moment. Jerry are coming to terms with their son's impending marriage. I impending still doom. think of him as being a boy rather than a man, a young man. Oh. So. I thought we had a trans storyline then. I think he doesn't realise how much there is to be done. He, he looks at it all and writes things down, but Things don't always go to plan, do they? Looking at it all and writing things down, oh my goodness, we've already got a better situation than in the last episode. Everyone's drinking wine. Everyone's a wine mum. Chablis mouth. It's a beaut. Right, it what's, a beaut. what's all this? Guest list. Entertainment. 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 Drink. 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 Shall I underline Drink. that? Drink. Yep. I think we should. Boys. It's going to be a good party for twelve thousand pounds. Twelve thousand. What I've been looking at is a kind of opportunity to get eternal brownie points for the rest of our marriage. Rings. Yes. Yeah, you should also do this because you want to, though, as well. I feel like not just brownie, not just for like brownie points of like, aren't I a good man because I did it all right? Dad. You have to get like a wedding like license. An thing officiator. Or... Legal, Legal stuff. Chip Legal strength. stuff. He's extremely good with money. In all honesty, I'm really have no idea. <laughs> that is a lot to do, isn't it? Gonna cost. so intense. This is from maybe what I've seen in movies. <laughs> <laughs> or if it goes anything like the board, it's just gonna be the shoddiest wedding ever. Meanwhile, Majita is settling into her new home with Jess and in her fiance castle. Charlie. And she's got one thing on her mind. The dress is the most sexual intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> oh touch me in the bed! And she's got one thing on her mind. The dress is the most important thing. Yes. Because at the end of the day, I've got to wear that in front of everybody. Yeah, you do. And I is want the dress everybody the most to important? go. I guess it's the thing you keep, isn't amazing. it? It's like an heirloom Not, or something. Oh, she looks all right. Which is why, for me, it's the most important thing. 
that he gets right <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Just I guess that's the thing yeah. with weddings, isn't it? You can choose what is the most important thing to you about the day because, like, it's your wedding. He doesn't come out with something like that. I kind of. Oh, what's wrong that. with that? What? Oh, it's a good thing you're not funny. Grotesque. Yeah, but you know she's got so, she's got a she's got appeal. <laughs> what kind of appeal to be picked up from studio? Yeah. Yeah. So no, that's true. She she does look maybe a little bit like she's trying to entice Hugh Grant into a car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For Majita, living with a couple makes her separation from Jip more painful. Aww. We all three of us get on really, really well, like Jess, Charlie and I. It gets really weird though when sort of obviously it's night time and the two of them are going off on their own and on their own bed. <laughs> so Well what, do you want to jump in bed with them? <laughs> no? Sorry. <laughs> But she That's... hasn't lived with her, like, husband-to-be yet, has she? So, an odd frame of reference. But, I mean, I understand missing someone, because, like, I miss my boyfriend every day that I'm not with him, so... You know, it's all worth oh, it. Oh, there she is, the red light I'm district. saying to myself <laughs> as well that, um, you know, we've got a whole life together. Yes! Positive hat, put your positive hat on. Your lovely the wig. Next four weeks, Jip's got oh, to focus on. Time right. to brainstorm with his trusty Oh, side. back in the day, this pint would have cost like 90p. Now you have to take out a mortgage. Because we are British. What are you most worried about? Just, entertainment. Just, yeah, yeah, entertainment's a big thing, I think. Do we ever do this anymore? Do, does, does reality TV ever be like, do you know what, just go down the pub and we'll just sort of like film you in the pub for a bit? Does that ever happen now? Land's playing charge entrance fees and everything. <laughs> It's gradually going from a wedding to a festival. But what what about like say if my nan comes, she's like 91, coming up to 91. She doesn't really mosh. No. Oh. I trust the best men to be woman. supportive. As far as guiding Jip to make the right decisions, I do worry about the best men's maturity. We can have like an old person's tent. Yeah. And have like, is Vera Lynn still alive? <laughs> <laughs> an old person's tent at the wedding. I wouldn't wedding. like an overly themed um, wedding. For example, a theme where everybody has to come dressed as a character. I wouldn't like our wedding day to be gimmicky. No. The theme is going to be 1940s and early 50s film noir. There we go. So immediately he was like, do you know what? No, we're having a theme. 1940s film noir. So, I mean, there is some level of glamour in that, as long as it's not like Smithy's prime next day delivery outfits. You know what I mean? Yeah. The thing is, when you have to ask your guests to dress up, if they're not included in the budget, if their costumes aren't included like in the budget, people are going to look for like the cheapest alternative they can, you know? So then you're going to have photos that maybe look a little bit, I don't know what the word is, like... Cheap. Serve it up, bitch. That's for the look, the dress, right. so the suits, her wedding dress, the guests are gonna dress like that. I was just wondering if they could come dressed as a pearly king. You could come dressed as a pearly queen then. Yeah, yeah. Yes. No, I would do that, I'd do that for you. You do it for me, you mean the pearly queen? I don't queen. understand the yes. By closing time, Jib's full of Dutch courage. Oh dear. This is gonna be the greatest <laughs> wedding mankind has ever known. Since the birth of mankind, since God created man, if he even did, this is gonna be the greatest single moment Controversial to ever opinion. grace our fair planet. Oh, right, well that, you've quite sold this wedding to be quite the experience, Jip. Good morning. It's Jip's job to choose the dress, but no. Majita can't resist a chance to feel bridal and takes Jess for some fantasy shopping. Right, okay, dress is time, everybody. It's kind of stressful. I don't like your hair. <laughs> No, don't be mean, Luxaria. I've been to see... She might have been on 10 years younger recently, you just don't know, do you? It's because you're really flat chested. Right, One of the yes. biggest reasons I want to get married is that everybody can look at me and go, doesn't she look amazing? Oh, I... Mm, I mean, I do sort of understand. I think I mentioned in the last episode that it's kind of weddings back in the day and maybe almost now, but in like a sort of like transformed way. We even saw this in Bridezilla's where weddings are like the opportunity for... How can I say this without like sounding like a complete out of touch, unrelatable woman on the go? Hold on to your titties. I don't get invited to movie premieres and on the red carpet, so to speak. Anytime that I do get invited to like events where like it's gonna be quite special, I always make the effort to like dress up, look nice, cause I know photos are gonna be taken. I feel like if you are just like 
average lady, average lady Kathy has an office job, doesn't belong to anything that might have like award ceremonies or maybe like film screening previews, doesn't, inv not involved in this world at all. One might lend yourself to then being like, excuse me, I want my wedding day to make me feel like I am a celebrity and it must be documented. So I do extend like an idea of for a, like a typically average person that's maybe not involved with like big social gatherings where like your look is photographed and all of this, then like a wedding day can kind of feel like that, you know? So I do understand the concept of like, I want everyone to look at me on my wedding day. I just also feel like that can very easily tread into, everybody pay attention to me, it's my special day. And that is like the most off-putting attitude that anyone can have ever. Mystery in the bridal shop, everybody. Meanwhile, across Meanwhile, town, Jip's off to make the most important purchase of his life over. alone. Baggy Because Jeep. I've never actually been wedding dress shopping before. Right. I'm just going to go in there thinking, that looks nice. I'll take one of those and uh, maybe one of those. Oh, I don't know about all this. You With might need to have a moment With his 40s theme in mind, Jip's first stop is a retro bridal shop. Okay. Might not be the worst option ever. Oh, they all look a bit drab, don't they? What sort of height is she? Uh, she is five, five and a half. She always likes to stress the extra half. That's, that's exactly oh, the same it? as me. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So she's your height then. My height, probably yeah. not my width. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Right, let's go. Chip does like his bargains. I don't know whether he realises how important the, what, the dress is to me. Yeah. Well, yeah. sometimes yeah. men are like, so oh, money, blip. Like, you know, to do Just... something like that because she's quite... Kooky is a, is a nice she? word, yeah, so... Kooky, it's really true. quirky. Yeah. Don't have to be bad to work here, but you do have to be on kit. You wanna be on top? <laughs> must release uh, an apology statement there that I do not know if she is on ketamine. <laughs> Stop being so silly! <laughs> oh, maybe I'm on ket. Right, we've got a bargain hunting boyfriend who wants a bargain bridal bouquet. <laughs> no. What price is this? Isn't haggle is a horrible this word? 1500 1, yes, that's a wedding dress price. Okay. He's I like, oh my god! Aside around about a thousand. <gasps> for a dress, but that was quite- What a very defined Cupid's bow he has. In this, it kind of looks a little bit like Madimorphosis. I, I was gonna say, I love these small hairs on you. I really think you should like wear them more often. In this day and age, I would be like, oh, have you been to, have you been to, have you been to the Filler Queen shop? But that was kind of like including shoes and- Oh, he thought a thousand pounds was going to stretch to a dress, shoes, and like accessories from like a brand new shop. It's more than I- That's wish. lovely, that's that's lovely. Where's that dress? I want to see that dress. More than I initially planned. I just don't want to get into debt. You don't want to get into debt? Or if you have 12k, is that 12k you actually have or is that like... Back in Westminster, the wedding dresses Majita's oh, found cost at least twice what Jip's budgeted. For da, Majita, da, the da, most da. important dress of her life okay. has no price tag. Aww. Aww. Oh dear. Mm. Um, my tissue box is upstairs. It is quite emotional, isn't it? Oh, you look gorgeous. It's so, like, culturally unrelatable to me, though, because I grew up in a time where, like, gay marriage wasn't even a thing. And that was before I, like, really understood what it meant to be trans. And I still have no interest in marriage because I was kind of brought up with the idea of, like, oh, no, you'll never get married because of your personal situation, so we say. <laughs> Ah, uh, outing myself on the internet. Oh, down the hatch, girls. Rishi Sunak will be pleased. No, I don't want to get married. Maybe I want just like a strange ritual in the woods where like people have to just come and look at me be glamorous in the woods for a while. Is that a thing? Just by myself? Can that happen? Can we do that? What's that just called? A photo shoot? <laughs> oh, I don't want to get married. I just want a photo shoot in the woods. Deranged. Oh, be quiet! But Majita's only allowed to try, not buy. It's oh, what Chip thinks that matters. Rokoko! The dress I want to buy for Majita would be not, probably not like a traditional kind of a white dress. No. Right, well, everything she's trying on is white, so. It's gorgeous. It's very Queen Victoria. Yes, <laughs> deep down. Yes, <laughs> deep! The dress is a big deal. I hate to sort of sound kind of vain, but at the end is of the that day. A sweet, is that a sweetheart cut? Is that a sweetheart neckline? Is that what that's called? No, it's not, is it? Because a sweetheart kind of goes across your... Does it? No, it doesn't. Does it? I just don't know anymore. I don't know much about clothes, but my hair looks fierce. I don't know much about clothes, but my hair looks fierce. fierce. 
this is my day and I won't want to look pretty. But at the end of the day, this is my day and I won't want to look gorgeous. Yes, that, you and you are perfectly allowed to. If you just get me dressed that I look nice in, Ooh. then I'm, I'm going to be disappointed. Yes. Jesus oh, fault. don't let she men decide what you want to wear. I feel like even men with the best intentions are like, oh, just like a prosy. <laughs> oh, dear. It was definitely what his work cut out. Because I, I think what he'll think she likes is maybe not what she likes at all. Yes, I would Seeing agree. Seeing myself in those very long, full dresses, I thought, well, this is actually what a wedding dress should I probably like that look car, like. And that, I like, felt more shape. like a bride in those. She's Luckily also for Majita, Chips called in reinforcements Wait, and heads is? to a traditional wedding on. shop in search of a dress okay. for under a grand. Traditional oh, wedding. I quite like, you know, something that is like strapless. Like that's quite nice. Strapless. You know, okay. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, what a lovely bride. Yes, very progressive. Very inclusive. Beautiful wife. That's a See, that is actually like wine. a sleeve thing that you would button down Buttons. there. It would be all right without that. Yeah, that's nice. Just though. Wear one on, one off. Yeah. yeah it's like right. a whore. What kind of price <laughs> would this dress be? Uh, this one's 2,600. Oh, well, I'm going to go jump off a bridge. I do love, I love, I do absolutely love with how much of a straight face all these wedding bridal like shops do when someone asks the price and they just go, this is 14 and a half thousand pounds. Just like as if it's the most normal thing in the world. I love it. It really gets me like, yes, queen. How did you not realize this is what it costs? If you're gonna spend this much money, have one like made from scratch. Have like a designer make you one. Could you imagine? Cool. Um, yeah, I think that's about it really. Because I mean, obviously we've got a lot of points. Like, yes, so yeah. yes, okay, yes, see you later. I'm just worried that they're a bit too traditional. But then at the same time, they also are significantly higher in terms of budget than what I think I, I can really afford to spend on it. Right. The pantry! Never, oh, ever, is it time for a pantry vlog? I thought wedding dresses could be so bloody expensive. Yeah. They make their money preying on little the, girls' dreams, basically. Well, girls grow up dreaming, oh, oh I'm going to have this beautiful wedding, I'm going to have this beautiful wedding dress. They are, <laughs> they're just hiking it, hiking the price up. I mean, weddings do come with a... I've forgotten the pissing word. What is it, girls? A premium, is that what it is? Like, weddings are technically like a premium service. Unless you're going for something that's either an heirloom dress or secondhand or perhaps a rental, and you actually want to go to, like, a specialist bridal-specific place, you are going to be looking at a price, perhaps not two and a half thousand pounds, but definitely you're going to be looking at spending money. It's not going to be like a... Oh, Oh, 29.99 from H&M. Although some people have made that work before. But that's like for people who can afford that kind of thing. Yeah, we come from well like can, yeah. a particular sort of wealth status, so we couldn't. We're poor, sorry. Yeah, we're paupers. Well, I wouldn't say you're paupers if you have 12,000 pounds to spend on your wedding. I feel like that's a little bit out of touch. Ja oh, if it's so sad. So my good friend when I was a teenager had one of them and we used to go driving all over the place. Ooh, not even Jim blurring the number plates. wedding dresses are pricey, he's yet to discover the cost of a venue. Oh, yeah, a million yeah, time pounds. Time isn't really on our side, so we're probably going to be limited to maybe two or three venues. I, so far, oh, that's pretty, look at that. Oh... So far, I am actually quite surprised at how this guy doesn't seem to be delusional. At least I don't think he's delusional so far. He kind of gives the vibe of like, oh, I didn't expect it to be that much. And I'd like to like rethink about where that money's going to go. But so far, he hasn't had this kind of like a bit gormless. He's not been a bit like too shooketh. I can't function words today. Does anybody have those days when words just aren't happen? Like, it's just not a words day. We're just not having that today. It's just not, it's not gonna be that day. Death! Jibs yeah. found one venue that has a date free for his wedding. Right. The Newbury Manor Hotel in Berkshire. Berkshire! In terms of the venue, I don't want it to be like a modern kind of a thing because that would probably not match very well with the theme. Oh yeah, oh no, hang on. Yeah, he is being delusional. I forgot about that. There's a theme, isn't there? And she was like, I don't for my wedding. I really hate gimmicks. And he's like, what we're gonna have is a really gimmicky themed wedding. Don't bother. Not in terms of the dress, which is a sort of 40s, 50s style. This is the last 40s and 50s, they're quite, mm, I guess I think they, at first, there is some the overlap. The little ceremony hall seems a bit kind of stale, just seemed a bit stale. too hotel -y. 
And then you've got a glass of sparkling wine for the bridal toast and the speeches. Bridal cost, toast. Uh, Six thousand three hundred. About four to five thousand, I think, was my initial figure. So maybe I underestimated what a venue would cost. Wait, what was that? Uh, Six thousand three hundred. Six thousand three hundred. Okay, the last guy then really did well when he haggled that entire like manor down to what was it like three and a half? I think it was in the end. Five thousand, I think, was my initial figure. So maybe I underestimated what a venue would cost. <laughs> With money Back tight road, and girl. only two weeks to go before the big Trini and day, Susanna look different. Passion for film gives him a big idea. Passion for fashion. The world famous Pinewood Studios. Oh, Shepperton! Home to international movie productions like Batman and Casino Royale, Pinewood Studios is built around an old lodge, Heatherden Hall. Heatherden. Oh, is that not Shepperton? Oh, maybe that's Shepperton Studios. Oh, that is quite bijou, oh actually, God. isn't it? Oh, yes, you've sold me, girl. We're moving tomorrow. How much is the deposit? A sensible 74. Five weeks rent, you say? What's that? Four and a half million pounds. <laughs> oh, my God. This is amazing. Stunning, isn't yeah. it? That is quite wow. bijou. Let's take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, but, yeah, and no, obviously, we're going to talk first, but... Didn't, didn't mean to get your hopes up there. No, but, no. Oh, yeah, no, you, he's made a bit of a whoopsie there in negotiation because he's gone, oh, I love it so much, I can't wait to have it, oh my God, how much does it cost? You should always be a bit like, well, I mean, I think, hmm? Business and negotiations is a little bit like playing poker. You have to keep your cards kind of gathered and you always have to keep a bit like, mm, you know, this could be better. Maybe there's movement. <laughs> I think this would blow Majita's brain. Is this <laughs> going to match the 1940s? And so much so that we may have to pass on this. Like, there's even a coat of arms on the back there. Do we? I don't think I've seen any films from like the 1940s with coats of arms, which would make sense because obviously they did exist at the same time. But I'm still a bit like, is that? Uh, excuse me. Is that very on brand, on theme? This is too dangerous. Movie buff Jip hasn't even asked the price, and already he's dreaming of the silver screen. Oh, got murdered in that room. The room was actually originally built as a set for movie Great Gatsby. Oh, really? Oh. I'm, I'm really impressed. I mean, like, so both it's myself and my fiance are really big film fans and, and stuff anyway, so that's why I kind of thought this would be quite a nice place to, to, undress to have the major. event. I think Majit will really love this place because I feel like a bit of a film star, maybe. Yeah, Who knows? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, even if you like. take the whole like film concept away, these large open spaces that are decorated quite nicely, they've got like ornate designs, lots of natural light, like that's going to look lovely regardless of what type of theme you're going for. So I do kind of understand. I bet she's going to throw a whole kettle of babies at him, though, and be like, oh, my God, it's actually £28,000 a minute. And what, what dates uh, or date is available? Um, we've got Saturday the 28th available for you. OK, that sounds good. I think most people can make it. You guys free? I think we're thinking that the really venue that the with food we're hoping to get in the region of about 5,000. You're looking at around just over £7,000. Oh, no. yeah. so £7,000, that's quite a lot, isn't it? You could get a boob job for that. Mary has had surgery on her vagina to gain what she calls the fattest vagina in the world. It's plus VAT on top yeah. of that. <gasps> plus VAT? So nine, nine grand? £9,000 for Pinewood Studios is almost double the cost of the first venue. Oh, I was Jesus. just amazed. It's just the most stunning location. And I think Majita would really, really love it. Um, the downside, obviously, is it's a bit more expensive. Yes. Quite more expensive, actually. Considerably. But, you know, something I think that's worth doing. Well, I do think I always say whenever you're shopping for something that's very expensive or very like one off thing that you're going to do, always shop around. And that's exactly what he's doing here. I mean, the only thing that I can really equate it to in my life, which was like a huge chunk of money, is plastic surgery. Shop around. Make sure you're also like listening to like expert opinion and stuff. So I think he's done something well there of going to see like a good little range. But I hope that place was quite nice, wasn't it? Oh, arc at me with my expensive taste, always. We'll eat up three quarters of his total budget. Yeah. Jip needs a that, cash obviously. injection. He seeks financial backup from the bank of mum and dad. Oh, I was going to say. If you are going to put money into the wedding, it'd be good to know up front roughly how much <laughs> you might, yeah. how, my yeah. pocket money, my allowance. Let me fill you on the banister. Yeah. Oh my God, everybody's caressing the banister. Oh, here she is. She's made a triumphant comeback. She's gone to retire in Surrey, apparently. Why aren't you making it to the bank? What about £2,000? £2,000, yeah. What about £2,000? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that'd be excellent. So we'd have about 14000 okay. Does she need a dress? 
No, we'll get, we'll get her a bin liner. <laughs> oh, She'll be fine. Oh. Alaska. Even after his parents top up, Jip only has £5,000 left to buy everything else he needs for the wedding. The dress, the decorations, the rings, the invites, the car, even the flowers. So this budget, 14000 seems exactly the same as the budget on the last episode. That was also 14000 wasn't it? I wonder if how much, like, production or this show offers to put in, if any at all? Or is that just like how much a wedding cost back then? Once is an instance, two is a coincidence, three is a pattern, so perhaps we'll wait to see the third episode to see if they get 14 grand again. I may on the day explain to her that the flowers may not be so nice, but shut up and look at the surroundings. <laughs> They're pretty friggin' awesome. Oh, maybe really don't tell your bride to shut, shut up, man. Shut up, shut, shut up. up your face and look at all this beautiful venue, yeah. <laughs> On a complete side note, I feel like the word shut up is so much more offensive than like any other word. I don't know what it is. If someone was to say to me, Luxaria, shut up, I'd be like, are we gonna have a fight? Because you do not speak to me like that. <laughs> I'm an old say. No, it's not being no say. The most important thing for a woman on that day is going to be the dress. Mm. It's got to be the dress. If I get a dress, oh, I've we've got, got the same hairstyle. What's the point? It'll be hanging nice over his head. No, it's it's not. only if you make it. It's so frustrating because people are always telling me, how's it going? What's happening? What's Where are you doing it? And I'm like, I don't know, stop asking me. Just, mm. you know, I don't know anything, so please. On average, it takes six weeks Caroline. to make a wedding dress and four fittings with the bride. Six Chip weeks? has less really? than two weeks and no chance of a fitting. Goodness. He hasn't even chosen a dress yet. Mm. I just worry that they'll just come up with some crazy joke and go with it. That is beautiful. A hot dog outfit. <laughs> imagine that. You'll make oh. someone, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and think it's really funny and then... I do like seeing, like, men with each other having a sense of humour that's not about degrading women. Isn't that lovely? We rarely see that. Oh. <laughs> and think it's really funny and then, you know, the wedding day, they suddenly realise, actually, Maybe I do nice. feel like he's trying. I think that's she the is big quite difference, sort of isn't it? Quirky and likes kind of interesting designs. So I'm just sort of worried that you know, like the dresses I've seen today are quite traditional and sort of plain. See, he's ridiculous. I quite like that. Oh, maybe I should get that. This, this is the dress I want to wear in the photo shoot in the woods. <laughs> As I was saying, I do feel like he's paid a lot of attention and he's always trying to remember that, like, she's a little bit kooky, a little bit quirky. She likes things a little bit different. That, which I think is like. Baseline, really lovely thing of trying to involve someone who's not in the process with you. Being like, you know, this person actually really likes this, so I really need to think from that point of view about what the outcome can look like. Love that. Haven't seen that before. Something because like, that yeah, is yeah, awesome. Think, yeah, that is quite nice. I do get worried. I mean, when it comes to clothing, that I think that's casual? where there might be an issue. Um, we've come to blows in a few times when he's sort of picked something up for me and I'm just like, Okay. <laughs> yes. And have you ever seen me I anything feel like, like that? that is the life of a straight woman, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Mm. Yeah. And that's good because it's not traditional, and that's what yeah. I'm going uh, for. It's, it's what's if the you word? have something striking up Elevate. here, it's gonna, it's good because it's gonna make a waist look tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's why. Yeah, it'd be good. Oh, she's a fashionista. This one. Um, so you're probably looking more that twelve to thirteen hundred, okay. fourteen hundred price. Oh. That's at least oh, that is actually quite pleasant, isn't okay. it? Fourteen hundred. I do like a damask or a floral flourish in some way or another. I just wonder if it's not like impressive enough. Does that look like pow? I am here to be looked at upon my wedding day, or is it a little bit? I'm going to a rockabilly party. That's at least three hundred more than Jip wants to spend. Three hundred though. We sit down, do a little bartering, a little haggling, and see what. See what we can do. Oh, yeah. here we go. Oh, we'll try. Yeah. <laughs> Enter the arena of um, bargain. We did say 12. I'm sure I said 12. But I'm sure we could do it for 1100. Yeah. <gasps> 1100. Yeah, there you go. Genuinely, and I know it doesn't sound like a lot of difference, but because I'm on a really tight yeah. budget. Well, no, it does. Else. I mean, I understand that you've, yeah. you've got other stuff to, mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. I've actually agreed to the dress, paid £1,100 for it. I'm about 99% positive that Majia will love it, so. I'm feeling good. Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right. I'm having much more positive, like, experience with this episode than the last one, my lovelies. Much more positive. Right, down the road. Oh, they've just been evicted from um, Pete's PA. experience in pleasing brides. We don't really get a lot of wacky brides, and I would say somebody that comes in and wants something truly, truly different is once 
every two years, you'll maybe get one. He's off to a second-hand shop to find vintage suits to fit right. his 40s theme. OK. Oh, dear. What's he doing? The Huge. leather trousers Party come big. off a bit. <laughs> it's quite cool. Is it Bugsy Malone? Is that a reference that people understand? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no, immediately no. No, now he's off again. I want, I want people to look at me and think I look really cool, and hopefully Majita will look at me and think I'm sexy. That's too big. The first suit that JP tried on is, is ridiculous. What is the price of this? It's the suit's are 65. 65? Yes, Excellent. that's right. Yeah, because I spent tons so, yeah. on, on the wedding dress. The suit doesn't fit, his best men can't stop laughing, but it's cheap, so he's not going to rule it out just yet. What did you think? Did is a grey suit good for a wedding? Isn't there a rule of like, grey on the day, grey in the heart, or something like that? Isn't there a funny rule about weddings? There's so much like social etiquette around weddings that I'm just like, I don't really know a lot of it at all, actually. Did I, did I look like that kid in Big, you know, when he yes. shrinks and he's wearing Tom Hanks? That's a good uh, reference. I'll be honest, I think you could do a bit better. Yes! Oh, listen to your friend. A bra and panties. <laughs> oh, the Godfather again. <laughs> These are just too big. Yeah, I can. That's my superpowers. A slim fit. The suit, I think, is going to be proved quite hard to get because yeah. obviously. Buy a suit, take it to the tailor, have it fitted. Dead. <laughs> Everything fitted looks much more expensive. <laughs> oh! What do you think? Would you marry me? Can't let my best mate get. I mean, it is a daytime tweed, but. What do you think? Would you marry me? That's not. The worst we've seen so far is, like, a dowdy khaki. Like, an acceptable wedding colour? No. I feel like weddings need... Yeah, you need to somehow match your bride just a little bit, no? Usually that's why men wear black suits, for the contrast, no? I don't know. If he's gonna be in, like, green earth tones and she's in, like, white and black with a stripe of red, I just... I don't see... I don't see the vision just yet. That might be his downfall. Oh, married, dear! Right? You look like a 30s, a 30s dictionary salesman. Which part of me are you laughing You guys are going to be dressed like this too, so there you go. I don't think we're going to get it done today. I think it's going to might take a bit longer than we anticipated. Let's I have agree. a little fun with some 80s stuff. Oh, God, Rock gods at heart, the boys abandon their um, suit hunt. Oh dear, wedding! Nice I just break. feel natural. I think we have to um, buy this stuff. That's beautiful. What's this for? Is this for the stag do? Chip I'm... can't resist a haggle. Is there any chance of getting like a bulk discount, you think? Or... Uh, let's see how much it is. Yeah, yeah. Is this a vintage like shop? Yes. Today, uh, we have spent £70 all on 80s luminous clothing from a vintage shop. No suits, no shoes, no hats yet. The wedding budget goes a long Was way that, that's for the... down the pub. I'm that's assuming funny that's day. for us. It was funny. Well, we got something. We got an Stand idea. I'll tell idea. you what, we, we got an Hats idea that we heights. know absolute fuck all about <laughs> suits. I'm just Don't quite worried as to how good we're going to look, and I don't want any of the guests to turn up and have some totally awesome suit better than us. It's tough. And then normally, at a time like this, Majita would be here to help me. But she's not. So, Are you feeling you know, the pressure of alone. having to make big boy decisions? With just over. A oh, she's just been to Tesco. Booked, the dress is bought, Damn. but Majita is in the so dark. So good they named it twice. Frustrated. Right. The waiting has been really difficult. There's nothing there for me to see or to hold or to read That's or you true. know. Oh, anything. is he going to send it's, her a gift? It's difficult for me to kind of a hand cut ribbon. Bring excitement from from nothing really. I haven't been able to see him. Oh my goodness! So um, that's been that's been my stress. Nice Where is it going to be? Do you know I that? Know. I don't Not know. even that. No. I don't think I'd let a film crew oh film me getting waxed. I don't think that would happen. No. The Mayflower. To relieve her oh wedding dear. stress, Majita calls a girls' night out. Right. Why do you actually want to get married? What made you think? Yeah, I've heard Jip's absolutely loaded. So um, I thought, you know, grab my chance. <laughs> Why do you want to get married? Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, then I decided to marry a student who still lives with his parents and hardly earns a penny. Hunster! <laughs> Rags to riches, baby. Oh, oh, to riches. Yeah. Sense it of humour, girls. Because I won't yeah. have married him for anything else. Back at the Hacienda. Before I met Majita, I think I was a lot more cynical about love. In my opinion, love was just like a chemical reaction in your brain. I'm, I'm a bit 
too analytical she's and scientific a scientist. and stuff at times, I think. Her in general, she's like completely changed my opinion on that and and you know, I've just realised that I just honestly she's couldn't be one. happier with anyone else. I really I really Aww. doubt that would be possible. While Jip's in the mood for love, the girls' conversation turns to sex. I could never ever marry someone who I hadn't had sex with. Like, I just who and who hadn't had sex before either. When I broke up with my with you know, with my last boyfriend. It was because of that. It was because I just thought, I've, you know, I've cheated so many times. This is ridiculous, and this person doesn't deserve it. It was like I got drunk, I felt lonely, somebody was giving me attention, and I thought, you know, fantastic, great opportunity, why not? You know, nobody's ever going to find out. This is why I knew, for me, that Jip was the man, because I felt absolutely, fully and wholly that this was the man for me. I felt happy, I felt true in myself. I'm a bit scandalised. If I was that kind of a person who would, who would cheat on my partner, you couldn't get that out of me, regardless of how much Chablis I would have drunk. Don't really like a cheater, no. I don't really like that vibe. That vibe is not for me. Betrayal and consent are so important. I feel beautiful and I feel like... Like you don't want to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I don't know about all this, actually. Oh, Regina George. Suspecting that his budget is in trouble, Jip's called late night crisis talks. Oh right, a late night crisis yeah, meeting. I don't, I don't think I'd budget. Much, I, don't think. I wish the Tories had have done this. Yeah, we we we've already kind of spent twelve thousand. Oh. I used to sort of think I was you know quite financially aware kind of a person, but except for yeah, wedding, my, my ideas of that are changing slowly. So far, I've been thinking, oh, this is going to cost this, this is going to cost that, and everything is just ridiculously more expensive than I imagined it would be. Because waiting. That's going to, I swear that's like 12, almost 12,000 now, not including car, Majita's accessories or our accessories. It's just starting to dawn on me how soon this is and how little time there is to do things. Jip's made a radical decision and has some bad news for Jess and the bridesmaids. Oh? What, what are you thinking about? What kind of dresses? Oh, no. Um, something that's all similar. Black, white and red are the colours. Controversial. I know, but uh, I'm, I'm confident, I'm confident. Controversial? And what's Why your budget, Jip? How much are we looking to spend on uh, bridesmaids dresses? Well, it's up to you. You can spend as much as you like. But uh, I don't really think I'm going to be able to help with the money, I'm afraid. Right, OK. Yeah, um, I have pissed away the budget on other things. OK. I know, I'm sorry. Is that allowed? <laughs> it's just no. a bit of a shock. I didn't realise that it was going to be something I had to budget for. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, you don't be like, oh, my God, invited to my wedding, but you will have to pay all this money. Like, no, we're not doing all that. As far as I was new, um, Dip was going to pay from them out of the budget. Yes. But he's not anymore. No, he's not. <gasps> but um, my mum said she's going to pay for mine. Yeah, I know, but I don't have a mummy who's going to pay for mine. I'm really surprised by the colour scheme without being funny because I wouldn't f I'd feel kitchen. weird wearing white because that's yeah. the bride's colour. Yes. I don't wear red at all and I'm really anti-black at weddings. I'm so anti it. Wow. I'm, in fact, for my me. wedding, I'm banning people <gasps> from wearing black. Oh! I feel, a f yeah, really. a atta I feel very attacked. Yes, the bride's dress. I guess I should uh, you also not really up. come in, should I? Near outside the fitting room. Oh! My verdict is buy him, let's get out of here. Yes! Even though it's not hurting his pocket, true to form, Jip's looking for a discount. Oh dear. We're just gonna see if we can get like a concession or some kind of discount because Chia knows. Someone who works for someone who works for someone who once knew someone who visited John Lewis. Do we get like a John Lewis? Oh, scandal girls this, exposed. <laughs> buy one or buy one, get one free or. Oh, should we do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Cool, you thank you for your help. Is she like, Cheers. don't look at me, I'm embarrassed. Yeah, maybe I'm not as good with money as I hear first thought. You can be good with money, but also don't forget this is an industry. But it's Jip starting to feel the strain. After three weeks apart, Majita's at breaking point. Oh, really? Oh. I don't think the gravity of the situation really has kind of dawned this on me. This is a lot, because I guess, I've isn't just it? been so occupied. I don't think with, I could do um, any of all this. You know, when I'm going to see him, and, you know, that would be so much fun. <gasps> trying to deal with the fact that 
I haven't seen him in such a long time. Oh. Has um, I think it's taken so much of my effort. Yes, While that's Matita an added stress, is on the ropes, isn't it? Oh, is on the road to Brighton for his stag do. 54 p. That Dang is it. friggin' good. Oh, what was that? Am I getting married? <laughs> it is. It's kind of weird because I've been so freaking busy. Yeah. Oh, like, she's very busy, kind of busy on woman on the game. Getting married is like being at the airport. <laughs> Men realise that you're about Lots to get married. Lots of busy women on the game in Brighton. They're really expensive. Yeah, and you should remember your passport. Is this a stag yeah, do with three people? Really. Do you actually need a passport when you get married? Do you need ID? Surely you'd need ID. With almost well, all, all his done budget the gone, yes. Jip's got a cheap solution for his stag night. The buckle! First on the My God, it's fucking windy. Tall to taunt. It shouldn't really be rocket science, but we can Is make it. Is this the front? Is this the front? Sorry, are you having a stag do in Brighton but camping? Uh, we're doing this in the right part, though. Well, you said that when we put it up, oh, this is on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> I trusted you. Oh, I did. Is that, is that the front? That is the front, isn't it? No, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not on this stag do. Goodbye. You can organise the ladies get invited to stag do. Does that happen? So far, it's uh, pretty much exactly as I thought it'd be, which is an absolute shambles. Yes. I think we might have put the tent up on a cow path. <laughs> the woman was too stunned to speak. Determined to get value for money, Jip whips out his £70 worth of lycra. I don't understand. Are they staying in a field for a stag do? I mean, you're going to be so hungover the next day, having to, like, deal with a tent whilst you're hungover. I can't imagine. No, let's not do any of all that. How exhausting. Wear that. Do you wear time this? spandex. Sniff it. Am I oh! Wear that as well? Yeah. T-shirt, OK, I'll wear anything. Sniff it. We're not doing that. Oh, broken hurt. Anyway, legend. Where's this? My idea. I know Henry, Brighton. Where's this? I'd love to go away for the weekend. I'm not into kind of going out into town. Going outside and, the house. You know, wearing no. veils with L plates. I always felt that was a bit cheap. In their relationship, Red he's the one who wears the trousers, so it's more appropriate the hen, the hen gear for him. So um, yeah, she's the trouser wearer. She's the trouser wearer. I'm the lycra and the pink shorts. Yeah, it's, it's clear you're not. You're I mean, very role reversal, isn't it? It's like, he's, this is his stag do slash hen. He's the hen. Number one hen, girls, henny. Not the alpha male in the relationship. No. Alpha male. I don't think well, Jeff would have men are pink either. now, don't they? I think him do and they? his friends, I, really I mean, bless them. <laughs> they are very funny and, you know, they do like to do the odd sort of joke or stuff, but they're such old men at heart. Oh, dear. Pantaloon. Oh, how wrong you are. Goodness, probably have to blur all... Oh, lesbianic activities. Where is this? I don't know where this is in Brighton. It's called, like, RDP or something. Where is that? Oh, oh she's Oh, leave me behind. Oh, go on without me. Oh, I won't make it go. For me, it's another step into adulthood. Um, as well, being Mrs. Mrs. Right. Woman on the game. Right. Oh, not in a restaurant, sis. Oh, she is gone. Where are you? Oh, he is so utterly sloshed, girls. Utterly gazeboed. Where is any of this? This is this. Is this Brighton? I don't know about all that. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. It's all good. Sorry, what did his top say the hall? <laughs> How many stag do's have you been on? Two. And was this the second one? Yeah. And the first one was better? Yeah. So I had a 50 50 chance. I missed it. They had boobs. What can you do? They had strippers and boobs. Yeah, but the strippers in the place. There's our tents. They're fucking clock. still out there. Our tents. Ah! High fives. Jip's final fling isn't over yet. <laughs> The first thing you learn when you live in Brighton is don't go in the sea drunk at night. And they were all swept away by the riptide and never seen again. Goodbye, Woman 90 line. lost dog. <laughs> what was that? Getting Where is that? Getting I think that's actually a long... I think my dad lives near somewhere near there. Oh, doxed. The sea with a bunch we don't, of need, just we don't, we don't <laughs> quite need a macro <laughs> shot of his genitalia. A builder's body slit. Go 
good morning. Uh, debris, debauchery, divorce. Dang! Oh, she's lost a leg. Hello. Here, the man emerges from his natural habitat. Liam. Yeah? You're alive. No. Well, wouldn't bother. Just checking. What a horrible Adam. yellow. <laughs> Adam, wake up. Adam. Adam's dead. Adam. That's hundred pound off the uh hundred pound off the food bills. The man can play. Jip may have taken the cheap option of camping, but he still wants his stags to pay their own way. Guys, guys, guys. It's really cheap. Yeah, it's like a tenner each. Has everyone got a tenner each? The chance to pay for the actual yeah, campsite. I you really, don't. I'm you genuinely really don't. Good. Cheers, dudes. I'm his stag night may be over, but Jip knows wedding plans wait for no man. That's odd. This is broad. This is the traditional. I don't, I don't know about all this money situation. Like, things are going to cost... Like, if you're inviting people to come and do something with you, I guess maybe with weddings you, you would be like, OK, here's the... Like, des people that have destination weddings... I mean, a campsite in Brighton is hardly a destination wedding, but you know what I mean. Like, wouldn't you be like... This is my thing. Like when I had my birthday party a few years ago and we did mini golf girls, I covered the cost of like myself and my guests because that was my birthday. And I was like, oh my God, I'm inviting you to do this kind of like pricey, a bit ridiculous thing. Of course I'll cover the fees. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like that's, it's very telling when someone is like, oh, do you have the three pounds that you're meant to owe me? I feel like in my life with friendship, it's very like give and take. And if someone is like constantly taking from me, I will... That'll be logged somewhere in the brain, girls. Yeah, that's what's this, the garter? Sorry I haven't returned any of your recent calls. Been a little bit busy, as you might sort of uh, understand. No. Here you go. Come ah, on. Pero I just managed to get your number off um, the guy across the road in the cafe. Bargain as well. Good price. I reckon I got a few quid Bargain left. Bargain pearls? No, probably not, actually. Brighton probably would have been a really good place to go much. for all this. Like, oh, oh, we got a braid. Not bad, little stress. For all this, like, vintage is. stuff. To be honest. I wonder how much these are. 28 million pounds. Jib's very taking tiring. his duties very seriously and has even decided to keep Majita's hen night a secret. Oh! So Jess is on standby, awaiting instructions. Oh, what's going to happen for the chickens? Look at that necklace. Oh, Say something, necklace. Hello. Hello. What's going on? What are we doing, my friend? Um, OK, where are you now, Is it just then? those two? We are outside Victoria Station. I've got Susie and Madge, and that's Wee! it so far. You go to the corner of, um, Bar... Oh, sorry, hang on a second. I need to far actually find it on the map. Oh, back in the day when you didn't have GPS it's on your on phone. on the corner of uh, Grosvenor Place and Hobart. I don't have a map. Oh, shit. Wilton Road. Sorry about this. See how organised I am. Oh, a w no. I Very important. I, but idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Perhaps a little bit more organisation would have been nice. It's reasonably bode well for my wedding. Oh, yeah. no, because nowadays what you could do is just make a little list of, like, coordinate locations and just send them on WhatsApp and be like, you're going here, then here, then here, then here. Oh, how did anyone do anything back in the day? Be like, it's on the corner of Highland and Wig, and you have to walk past the man with the wig. I don't understand, I'm a, I'm a simple woman. Past the lady with the very large wig, and then you arrive at Platinum Lace. I've got no interest in talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> that man. I don't really know where I'm going, but I'm going to try and sort the situation She's out. She's going to take so that necklace off and beat mom. him with it. I'm slowly starting to fall apart at the seams now, I think, so... Okay, but... She's wearing a geek. Right, yeah. map, let's go. Oh, okay. she's... so she does have a map. Right, they're on the game. Oh, no. Hey, I'm on Grosvenor Garden. Grosvenor. Oh. Hello, sorry. Did you arrive there yet? You have. Oh. Hey. There's a little bit of romance there, I suppose. <laughs> I'm contributing towards Quizzing the cost of the meal, obviously. Um, luck luckily, as there's hardly anyone turned up for it now, it should be fine. So you may actually have some left over for drinks, like when you go on to the next place. How much have we got? It's £100. That's £100 
between all of them. So you can maybe buy yourself a nice couple of mojitos or something. And then the, th the thing is, because I haven't been able to obviously get to see you or anything, um, would yourself or Susie be able to, you know, pay and then I'll just reimburse you? Oh, OK. Sister Chia and oh! Fred... Oh, uh, you've got a hundred pounds for your like entire Hindu. That is, that's not the wig tea, is it? That is not the wig tea. No. Back in 2010, when I first moved to London and I would go on like a night out, let's say. Let's say I was actually paying for it and not invited to a club to be a club kid. Uh, I would say I could probably comfortably have a pretty good night out by myself for about 30 pounds. Maybe, give or take, as long as it wasn't anywhere like particularly luxury, which you kind of want to do when you're on like a special event like party, don't you? So I don't know if you're budgeting like between 30 and 40 pounds per person, three people easily takes it over 100. And then if there's five people, you're not going to have 100 pounds, are you? Plus food, plus taxi, plus like, no, 100 pounds does not go far at all. At all, girls! And Victoria joined them right. to make a party of five. Right. Oh dear. Worlds apart from Jip Stag Night, the girls settle down to a civilized meal. I guess they did, yeah. Not kind of after a hundred pounds worth of food, Jip's next plan is for the girls to go to the bar next door. Oh, hang on, is that just for the food? Hundred pounds on food. God, this is a bit posh. I know. It's very quiet, isn't Vault. it? <laughs> Should be an interesting night. Oh it doesn't seem to be a dance floor or anything. He obviously thinks I'm far more sophisticated than I think I am. <laughs> oh, she's just wants to kind of have a laugh, girl. Oh, she doesn't want a gimmick, but she wants to kind of have a laugh, yeah. Shots, yes, and mojitos. Ooh, this looks a bit. Oh dear, it's actually awake. Oh, it's not party -like, is it? I'm surprised at how subdued the night is, and I don't know whether that's because of us or perhaps of of the venues that he's chosen. He describes him a bit of a party animal, <laughs> and then, I don't know, maybe this is something he's trying to tell me to do, that, you know, if I'm going to become a married woman, I've got to learn to, to, to subdue myself. <laughs> My boyfriend took me to Magic Mike as a random surprise once. So, no, I don't think there's a case of like, oh, we need to influence you. I think it's a case of like, oh, he hasn't really paid attention there. Earlier I was like, yeah, he's kind of getting the vibe. He's sort of paid attention, little bit. I guess you can't get everything 100% right though, can you? With no entertainment for the reception and no budget left, Jip stuck. Oh dear. I wish we had a breakdown of how much things are costing though. Shit. If I had more budget, I would definitely go for that. Thousand pounds for a live band. A live wig. I'll just call up 10 people and say, sorry. On this spreadsheet. Oh, 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 oh. The venue with 100 guests is 9,300 pounds. So he did go for that venue. Goodness me, that's a lot for a single day, isn't it? And there's no haggledy baggledies there at all. Flowers, 500 pounds. Chairs, 450. You have to pay extra for chairs. Do they not come with the venue? Evening snacks, 220 pounds. Dress, 1,100. Suits, 240, 400, 400 pounds. What's the next? Photography, 240, yes. Arguably, photography and makeup artists are generally the most important thing at a wedding because they're the things that you're going to remember forever. Registrar, 100 pounds. Or is that 400 pounds? 400 pounds. Bridal suite. It already exceeds 14,000, like, oh and that dear. didn't even that, include. That, I just can't go over that. Venue cost, far too much. Far too much. Paddy, do you think you could sing at the wedding? Yes. How much did you charge? Fourteen thousand pounds. <laughs> Two oh. dog biscuits. Oh. Yeah. Oh. A deal. Oh look. No. Oh yeah. I have money saved, but when it comes to September, neither of us have jobs. I don't know where we're going to be. We, we, you know, we really need to move out. Like as a married couple, Can I don't want to like carry on living in my mum's attic, sort of a thing. I don't want to sort of not be able to afford look to at those live ears. next year. You can hear all your secrets. I'm stressed. I'm really stressed right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think, personally, move in together, then save. Bring your in. With just three days to go, Best Maid Jess is determined to get Majita into shape for married life. Jip slides my curves. I don't think that's going to happen He'll in three days. He'll hate it if I turn like, up, Twiggy. <laughs> you can't... Majita, three days. Can you change your body <laughs> shape in three days? Keep your arms so. going as well. Oh, they're that... going. Oh, she's on the game. Keep going. This is so the last time I'm doing this. No, it's not. 
Tomorrow morning. Oh no. Sparrow spot. Where are oh, you? Can screw off there, thanks. Yeah, it's done well. We've got to go back though. Don't forget that. Mm. Jip's 14 grand budget is long gone. Right. Everything else he spends will eat into his own savings. So pounds. he's come up God, with a cunning a plan day. to bake Just the wedding wild. cake himself. Not baking a wedding cake yourself. No. Are you a baker? No. So we'll probably all hate it, but banana you know, cake. I'm At a wedding. A wedding. It's my say. Saves about five hundred pounds, I think. Do you know the one thing I d this? I feel like the venue being that expensive has completely ruined his wedding plans. I will say though, as much as I absolutely love baking, I love baking, love bakery, love cakes and pastries and all those sorts of things. I absolutely loathe getting a recipe and it's like now add 16 kilograms of butter and 68 kilograms of sugar i am like oh please i don't want that much but i also really like it could have gone to just new valerie spent 40 pounds or something quite our, our, our deco oh, is that chicken Perfect. yes a chicken cake the ingredients came to about 60 pounds oh patty Woo, yummy. i want to become a cake maker now, now. Wedding nerves are kicking in. It's the day before, Mysterious and all that's music. left for Jip to do is wait and worry. Oh dear. The day before. I don't think I can eat any more. Couldn't even finish his egg. A little bit too nervous today. But at least I've had half of it. Half it's better egg. than nothing. Some mornings oh. I haven't had a chance to have anything. I hope your suit fits. I'm worried about the dress, the fitting of the dress. An interesting pattern on a hoodie. What would we call that? A mistake? <laughs> Stop. Put your forked tongue away, Luxaria. Um because there isn't that much leeway kind of on the waist part. It's crunch it's time as Majita is finally like going to stoic. try on the wedding dress that Jip has picked oh, and look, paid three for. Three quarter length leggings under a dress, very 2000. Oh! Jip wants Majita to see the dress in its full glory, shoes oh, and oh. all. What's gonna so she's happen next, girl? until the look is complete. Yeah. You're really uncomfortable. Right. I'm not used to having something this tight. That is very tight. Do you think you ought to lose it? Oh no, is it tight? Is it too is tight? Is it not fitting properly? Oh, look well, at the room divider. Yeah, I think wear it and yeah. see how you, and see how oh, you, is it? you feel in it. It's starting to loosen up for now. Is it? Yeah. I just can't take full, full breaths. <laughs> okay, would you like to have a look? Okay, Jess, do you want to have a look? Oh, here we go. Oh, I think that's a terrible reaction. Is that a look of despair <laughs> or oh, pleasure? <laughs> is it good? Um, Angie, yes. this is the Cinderella moment. Oh. Um, lift this foot. Lift. Are these ones I weren't wearing? Yeah. Are these my wedding shoes? Yeah. Oh, wow. Get comfy, dear. Yeah. <laughs> I think you look absolutely beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh, OK, maybe he did make... <laughs> oh, yeah, a little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Oh, no. Right, is she oh, ready? Oh, to control myself. Go. Ready, steady. Oh, <gasps> oh beautiful. Oh, it's is a good so reaction. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. It's oh, just, hooray. It's so well amazing. done. Kooky girlfriend is pleased. Oh, thank you so that much. Fits well. Actually, it's done an amazing I job quite like the red with the like pointed edge on the ribbon. I don't think I really expected anything like this. I wasn't expecting I passion. Like the or... as well. You won't speak. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. On his final night as a bachelor, Jip's practicing the vows he's written himself. Oh right. It just kind of came to me, and I kind of realised. That it was right because it was just honest and it was just you know i thought well like not like that right, man who's I feel like about her i promise to smack that ass i promise to smack that ass every chance i get <laughs> oh hateful i'll be there to make you smile oh. if you're ever lonely i'll be there to offer you friendship if you ever feel lo lost i'll be there to show you the way you mean more to me than you'll ever know you're a friend a lover and an inspiration oh it's just right three Oh, look at him. He's a bit God. soppy. Maybe just more of a, a whole person when I, when I become somebody's wife. I think I'll just perhaps feel more like I belong. Oh, I don't know about that aspect. I'll feel like more of a whole person when I become somebody's wife. Mm, don't try to complete yourself by looking at others. I think I'll just perhaps feel more like I belong 
with somebody rather than constantly thinking that I'm having to search, you know, for somebody or something extra whenever I go out. If ever there was anything to test Ooh. a man's sort of certainty of who he's about to marry, I think this whole process has, has done that and it's just reaffirmed to me that like I know that I really, really love her and she's the person that I really want to be with, so Aww. yeah. Oh, I don't know though. I very did, like these are two very interesting people, aren't they? We've had a cheating storyline from her, who's like, "I'm just looking to find my wholeness in somebody else, my whole." And I'm a little bit like, mm, "You shouldn't really look at other people to find what completes you. A relationship should be like a real hearty meal, and the other person that you've invited into your life should be like the seasoning, not all of the ingredients. Do you know what I mean? Like they should." Bring the zest, bring the spice to your life. But how you work on yourself should already be quite complete. Oh, who After are you? What are you doing? Weeks of separation and a bill Ooh, of over four. Is that After a four weeks style? of separation. Is that a vintage style makeup? We've got like a dark smoky liner with a pinky red lip. Looks to be like a satin finish lip, perhaps even a gloss there. A little bit of cheekbone blush. And a bill of over 14,000 pounds. Yeah. It's finally Hairspray. the big day. Okay, that's it. Don't li don't don't tighten it anymore because I can't actually breathe now. No more. Don't don't, don't be a cow. Oh. oh. Faint, faint at the sight of your husband, girls. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, did you not get a car? And that's beautiful. It is quite nice. Isn't it? Oh dear. Oh, so loud. In keeping with the oh. theme, a 1950s Pontiac arrives to take Majita to her wedding in style. Well, oh wig God. tea. That's God, actually like quite beige. Oh, look at her. Are getting Audrey Hepburn vibes. Okay, the colour scheme works with the vibe. It does. Married, bring it on. House keys. Hi. House keys. I haven't got house keys. You don't live here anymore. Fuck <laughs> He's got the keys. Is that the car that he's turning up in? Oh, dear. As she leaves her parents' house, she may feel like a film star, but will Jip pull off a wedding fit for a screen goddess? No. Oh, but it's at the gorgeous venue. Oh, it is quite bijou, isn't it? The guests are arriving at Pinewood Studios, wow. and Jip famous? awaits his leading lady. So now all I have to do is worry if Majita's going to turn up. Pinstripe suit, yes. Yeah. OK. So how many people are coming? Uh, there's about 90 or so, I think. Oh, stuck in traffic, girls. I don't know, things seem to be going well so far. My only thing is that you're happy and... and then... Oh, it's so silly, isn't it? I'm literally watching a TV show from, I don't know, 15 years ago, and I'm like, oh, I hope it goes well, girls! Silly! Oh. Little Rose. <gasps> <gasps> Jess presents Majita with the final touches. Right. That's your bouquet, sweetie. Here's wow. your bucket. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you all please to stand for the no. arrival of the bridal party? Get out! Right, here we are. Okay, people do kind of look a bit vintage, don't they? Oh. Okay. Be quiet. John a Paul and Majita, wedding. we are here today to celebrate your commitment to a marriage that will deepen and enrich every aspect of your lives. Oh, she's Majita, got a very, like, I did all of this because voice. of all you've done for me. Listen. Whenever I've been quiet. sad, your smile has melted my sorrow. Whenever I've been lonely, your touch has brought me comfort. You're my best friend, my lover, and my inspiration, and I'll always be yours. It's Majita's turn to read a poem that Jip has I chosen. I hate you. I cannot promise you a life of sunshine. I cannot promise oh, riches, God. wealth or gold. I cannot promise you an easy pathway that leads away from change or growing old. But I can promise all my heart's devotion, a smile to chase away your tears and sorrow. A love that's ever true and ever growing. A hand to hold in yours through each tomorrow. Mm. And now I'm going to ask Liam, please, to step forward. Imagine if she was just like, I can't, and then that was it. End of the episode. And pass the bride's ring to John Paul. Majita, I give you this ring Not in a box, a sign no. of my love He's and a as a symbol one. of our marriage. No, but it fits. And it's my great pleasure and my privilege to declare you as being it. husband and wife. Oh. <laughs> and it's all that just for that. Isn't that wild? 14 grand and a little party. <laughs> so 
some might say that's a scam. Ooh. How I listen, Queen. Right, take him in the maze and have your wicked way with him. He's exhausted. Look at that. Oh, oh that mummy. Oh, that's quite nice. You like it? Yeah. I don't know about that. She's Keen to score more brownie points, Jip's got another sweet surprise for his new wife. You see that cake? Homemade banana and pecan. Did you make that? I, I made it. How good does it look? Okay, I'm gagged about that. I would have loved a little bit of a section about that because it looked like he actually did it really well. There's me going, are you a baker? No, don't do any of all that stuff. That looked really good. It's not something I would have chosen, but uh, no, 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 listen, yeah. it's better than what I would have chosen. Oh, it's really? so beyond anything that I ever thought I would pick out for myself. Oh. Absolutely. I just... <sighs> Good. Emotional lady. I'm really overwhelmed that you Good. picked something so gorgeous right. for me. Hey, it's all right. Oh, that's that's this the is response just you the want. Most isn't it? Incredible venue. It's perfect. Medita looks beautiful. She's so happy. Yes. Like, at the moment when Medita was walking down the aisle, you realise how much she put into it over the last four weeks and oh. how much it means to both of them. So that was like that was a really emotional moment. I guess the venue Everyone was, was worth it. Even up. It was nearly ten grand. Even the boys. <laughs> and uh, Are you welling up? Boys. No. He knows her so well, you know, he's, he's absolutely Majita through she and through. She reminds me of the lady from Saltburn. Non-traditional as ever. I was a lesbian Majita once, but it was all too wet. To have the final word. Right, here we go. Everybody get out, I um, hate you. I, I did have a, a speech, speech, but um, I think it's a bit boring, so... <laughs> <laughs> Talk from the heart, let it gape. Basically, over the past month, um, although we haven't seen each other, I feel that I have learnt new things. I'm very proud of what you have accomplished and what a fantastic day you have created for both of us. <laughs> Although these weeks have been difficult, I have thought about you every minute of the day and counted the seconds till I could tell you in person how proud I am of you and how happy I am to be calling you my husband. And I'm glad that I plucked up the courage to ask you to marry me and believe that you said yes. <laughs> oh, well, reversal. She asked him. No wonder why there was the joke about being a hen. All right, the first dance. Yes, what's it going to be? What? He got the band. Did he get the band? And yes, Jip dug deep and coughed up his own savings for the best entertainment in town. Oh, wait, used his own savings? Was he not paying for his wedding with his savings at all? Trust a metalhead to be like, yes, queen! Uh, they don't do that, do they? Well, they might do now. The total I spent was £14,337.50. There you go. And it's all done and now. Feel, That's it. I feel it was Time worth to move on. every penny, and I would have paid more to, to have that kind of day I again. I don't think you would. It was just so worth every penny. Nope. Was the venue worth it? Nine and a half grand. Is it worth it? Ah! Da 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 da! da. Divorce. So, my lovelies, I've definitely got some thoughts about this episode. What a complete turnaround, 180, complete departure from normality of the last episode that we watched together. This guy, Jip, seems so much more in tune with his bride-to-be than we've ever seen on any of these shows before, let's be honest. Even though I did find certain parts of this story, the storyline of this episode to be a little bit confusing, like why include the part of the cheater storyline for her? Like that seemed a little bit like, I was a cheater and now I'm reformed. Cheating, not for mummy. I don't know, it just seems a little bit, like why include that? It didn't really add anything to the episode except making me feel like, oh well, like, I don't think I could marry someone who's been like, yeah, I've cheated multiple times on all my partners. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying you are entirely like unable to make change in your life, but your past decisions do like form who you are as a human, I think. I don't know, am I being a bit rough there? Let me know in the comments below. The theming of the wedding, or when I heard like, oh, it's gonna be 1940s, 1950s film, everyone's gonna be like uh, dressed up as the 1940s. I was a bit like, oh, this is gonna look a bit cheap really quickly, but actually, I think most people kind of 
turned it out in a weird way. Like we didn't see any like wedding photos or anything like that, but the venue did work well with what he had planned. Although there was a little bit of male incompetence in this episode, I don't think it was anywhere near what we have seen previously, which kind of makes, I don't know, just a really good episode today for very wholesome. I don't usually do very wholesome content here on the Chanel, my lovely, so I do feel quite positive. Let me know what you think about what we've seen and don't tell the bride today in the comments box below, my lovelies. Oh, and with that, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Cade the Babe. Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Instagram shout out, make sure you go follow me over on Instagram. It is xxluxaria. I post my fashion and travel content over there, my lovelies. Yes. And you know what? With that, it's time for the top tier Patreons. Alex Ewart Official, Orcos Emoji, Ari Adia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Cameron Pittman, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finch Dunham, Hannah Ruth, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larissa Says Relax, Leanne Jones, Les Banana, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Miss Kiss, Novembrix, Paula Rivera, Ryan Loves Rory, Stefutek, Taylor Martin, and Vicky Walsh. And you know what, my lovelies? I think I'm going to leave it on the note of if you're going to get married, make sure you know your partner's interests and likes. I think, I think that's a good one, right? I feel like I'm kind of wasting that advice on my audience, my lovelies, because I think you've all got brains. <laughs> Let's be honest. Ooh. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.